welcome back to the Pop Culture Corner podcast. Today, it is the return of the Mac. What's up, Freddie Mac? How you doing, brother? How we doing, the Culture Corner? How we doing? You gotta poke it. You can't leave me like this. Uh, on camera. No, you I can't leave me like that on I camera. I should have snailed him. I should have snailed him. I should have snailed him. But welcome back, man. Uh, it's good to have you back in the in the in the studio. Um, it's been a wild couple of weeks, everybody. I just put up a video. I just put up the Garrett video. Yeah, I peeped it. Yeah, did you like it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was, the zoom aspect of it kind of makes it look grainy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the grainy part of it, that that kind of bothered me where I had to do, film an intro here and then I had to do the interview on my break at work because he, um, the, the publicist uh, messed up the scheduling because mm. I was going to do it on my day off and be here. Um, so it didn't work like that. But it was a good I, – I, Garrett was really fun to talk to. I yeah. wish you could have been there. I saw that it was, like, low-key, like, a little bit grainy and also, was like, like a little bit laggy. Yeah, because of the Zoom. Because yeah. – and it, and, it, and it stayed on my face way more than his, which I was so pissed nice. about. I was so mad about that. Uh, it drove me nuts. But I couldn't remember the episodes that we were supposed to watch. So I, I'm just going to null and void it. Because we were supposed to do... It was supposed to be Witcher, and um, you were supposed to watch Love, Death, and Robots, but <sighs> we did fast forward. All right, we can do that. I didn't watch Witcher. So. Yeah, we can do that this time. The, we just redo it this time. But, but you know what I did watch? Is Ms. Marvel. It is. Ms. Marvel. First topic of the day, ladies and gentlemen, is Ms. Marvel, episode one. Uh, we both watched it, and we have a lot to discuss on the tone. Because when you asked me, you were like, oh, what's it like? And I was like, or what's it going to be like? I said... Most likely going to be like a high school, like CW style show, like comedic in some ways. But the cinematography in it is beautiful. And the way the art is, like you were talking about, what did you tell them what you liked about that? Because you explained it nice. I said that I love the fact how like it was live action, but they incorporated like animations along the way of like transitioning areas within the, the show itself, especially when, uh, what's the main character's name? Kamala? Kamala Khan, yeah. Yep. As soon as like Kamala would like always like space out and like zone out yeah. and go into like different worlds and like I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Also talked about some other things, you know, you might enjoy this type of, you know, content while you know, just chilling with the boys or yeah. like, you know. Eat, that's what I said to you. Yeah, yeah. So this is a, this is one you could watch with your family. Yeah. Like your family could sit around the couch and, you know, everybody's going to enjoy it, right? Yeah. No matter who they are. Because it's just, it has a 95 fucking percent Damn. on Rotten Tomatoes. 95 percent. Disney Plus shows have not done that yet. Um, nor has any show in a while. Like a, 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 like a superhero show been rated that high that I can remember. I mean, she is a Muslim superhero. Yeah. So it's like, it is a kind of uncharted territory, so they are... Oh, very, very uncharted. a little bit different, so they got to give them a little bit of credit for that. And I was telling you that Muslim parents are strict like that. Very like, they're true. super, super strict. So, when when the parents are talking to Kamala like she's a... Like, she's 16, but they're talking to her like, almost like she's like a 10-year-old. Um, it's the way the Muslim culture works where they're very protective over their daughters, but not their sons, yep. right? The, uh, a female and a male are very different um, yep. people in that culture. You raise them differently. Um, so it's you can see that playing out and, and kind of Kamala on her rebellious side, uh, AvengerCon. You know, first off, I would have loved to go to that convention. Yeah, I, I was watching this, and I was like, wow, holy Tyler. I would have loved to be at that convention. Um, but... She, like, the character development, there was no... Like, who's going to be the villain of this? Did you even remotely know? I didn't even... Honestly, I was so... You know what? I was waiting for her to like, get the powers the whole time that I had no time to really think about. Oh, like, damn, there really is supposed to be a villain. Like, right. you're the first person that reminded me of a villain. I was like, oh, yeah. Whoa, yeah, she's supposed to be a yeah, superhero. Be... So where is the villain? Usually... But she just got her powers, though. You True. And that's when you, when you when you just said that that kind of dawned on me that maybe episode one was just about Kamala and introducing her origin, right? Us getting to know her, and then episode two will kind of because I forgot this is going to be a regular length. This is like nine episodes. Yeah, it's not six like Moon Knight and uh, Loki. Yep. So this is going to be actually like a probably like a good fleshed out. And the episode was like fifty five minutes. I was yeah, like, was I, this is it. perfect. Yeah, why, why don't you tell uh, the culture corner about uh? Your little hypothesis about Kamal's mom. 
Oh, so Kamala's mom mentioned something briefly. Now, I think that we can all understand that Kamala's mom is definitely the leader of the household in the sense that she kind of makes the rules. She is the power the powerhouse in the in the in the in the in the home. So there's a couple moments where strategically and like as a storyteller, uh, I picked up on a couple things that the the mom said and just the way she acts about when she first sees the what what would you call that a uh, gauntlet? No, not like a gauntlet. It's more like um, <sighs> damn, like a wristlet. But there's like another word for it. Yes. I know it's something. It starts with like a B or something. I can't remember exactly it's what it is. Not a bracelet, but it's but like a... yeah, it's something. I, it's like I, I can't remember. A bangle. No. Bangle. Yes. 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 Hundred yes. percent. It's called a bangle. Okay. Yes. So the bangle. When the mother sees it the first time, it's not like the bangle is just in in a box laying there. It's with other jewelry, right? But Kamala picks that one up, and her mom gets really defensive right away. Right when she sees it, she gets defensive about it. Closes the box really fast. Yep. yep. Says, put that in the attic, let's go, we're going to do errands. Ends. Then, obviously, we knew, because you could see that the writing on it looks like the Ten Rings. True. It, Interesting. What if it's like what if it's like part of a set, an intergalactic jewelry set? That is some, honestly, not even cap, that's some Disney shit right there. So right. I can see it. Some sort of, because there's, there's some correlation between this bangle and that those 10 rings. They look almost identical. They're just, one's a bangle and the other one's the, the 10 rings and the way they look. As of right now, which one would you rather have? The bangle or the 10 rings? Oof, the 10 rings. Really? Yeah, the 10 rings, easily. Um, actually, I don't know. Because I don't know what this can do yet, this bangle. I only know a little bit of what it can do. And apparently the power set's going to change throughout the show. Really? Yeah. Because this is in her final form, according to the director's. She's going to she's gonna change in some way from start to finish. We don't know what that's going to be. It's going to be when her little boyfriend dies, I'm telling you. He thinks the boyfriend's going to die, guys. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Because um, I don't. I don't. I think that kid's going to be in the series for a while, at least, before he dies. Maybe the dad will die. He could go, but and it could still be it. tragic. He already knows, like... It's he knows be, what? Like, he already knows that she has powers off the first episode. Like, I feel like I've never seen in a show... Or anything where oh the, okay the okay I see what you're saying you're not talking about the dad you're yeah, talking about the kid right I'm talking about the kid. okay but I never seen a show where the like the, the little romance people whoever's like supposed to be in love like found out about the powers on the first episode okay they, I see where you're going with that maybe he will die I feel he's gonna die because remember what they always say is like oh once you put them in danger like little right little, right the yeah you wear the mask so you can yeah. protect them yep. right so um oh, that's a good point yeah, that's that, a good point that's the, a, kid, that's the kid a, could die but so I'm thinking. So the, the mom gets really defensive about the bangle, tells her to Kamala to put it in the attic. Um, and then, the older brother. Yes, and then this the older brother part, the, the older brother I think might, I think there's something about their bloodline. I think that the grandmother might even be a Cree. What is that? A Cree is, remember the scrolls? Remember, um, do you remember uh, Ms. Marvel? I mean, uh, Captain Marvel? Yes, yes. The Skrull are the green ones, the alien-looking yeah, ones, okay, okay, yeah. and the Kree are the others. Okay, yep. So I think the grandmother's a Kree, and that's part of the outfit thing. That's power, part of that, and that's what she's passing down. I think maybe she had relations with a human, and then uh, this bloodline started. And I think that whoever wears it would have powers. That's why the mom gets defensive, yeah. right? Because she's her grandmother, her mother, tried to put it on her. Mm -hmm. And then when she, that didn't work, they tried to put it on the son. And then, from the son, he was the mom. The mom kept the son safe because the grandmother probably wanted to give it to the son, but then decided on Kamala because of who Kamala is and uh, what she's becoming. But That's my it, theory. Wait, are you talking about the package as a whole right now? Like who it was sent for? Yes. I mean, who was it? It was. To? It was addressed was... to Kamala. Really? Yes. I thought it was to the mom. No, it was addressed to Kamala. Interesting. Yeah, so the grandmother had sent it for Kamala, and uh, so I I don't know. But then then later in this episode, maybe that all that's horseshit. Again, that's all speculation. I don't know. I'm just saying this was not a show I got to watch early, so I'm just guessing. I'm watching it with everybody else. Yep. Um, so Brand there, speaking new. there's another moment. This is the real moment when the kid's over. I can't remember his name. Let's call him Jason. Let's call him Jason. So Jason's there. 
and Kamala is there. Jason's giving the dad the whatever, the little Alexa thing nice. that he built. And uh, the mom's like, oh, I'll make you, I'll pack you some food. He's like, no, 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 no. Within seconds, they just got home. Within seconds, she's in and out of the kitchen with packed food. And the kid's like, how did you do that? And she was like, tech is your secret. This is mine. And I'm like, bruh. How the fuck did she do that so quick? It was like five things. It was literally five five Tupperwares. She did it in 32 seconds. Less. Less than that. And she was popped back out. I'm like, I think that right there, that was a hint. That was a storytelling foreshadow. Uh, A little hint towards what's to come. I think the mother, uh, I think the bloodline is is somehow um, uh, ancestral. When she falls, where does she go? The ancestral plane. You see all the people looking at her? Yep. So that's tied right to Black Panther. We saw the Black Panther moving, right? And and, and they, well, they talked about the Black Panther earlier in the show and had the Black Panther moving. Did? Yeah. Now I gotta rewatch it. Yeah. So and then she when she falls, the first time she noticed she has power, she falls and she goes through the floor into the ancestral plane. There's a bunch of people that look like the ancestral plane. They're all they're all blacked out with the the glowing eyes, yep. and then she comes back into reality, yep. and it's like, bruh, this, and they're purple. The powers, uh, the light that comes out is purple. The colors always mean something, hmm. right? So, like in the Infinity Stones, like Wanda's power comes from this stone, that's why her power is red, yeah. right? That's why the, it looks red, because it's from the Soul Stone, Right or whatever stone it was, I can't remember. I think it was the soul stone, uh, the, or the mind stone. And then um, anything related to time is always green, right? Really? And he, Doctor Strange, yeah, because the time stone is green. Okay. So uh, and then orange and the oh, colors the always. The Hulk is green. What? The Hulk is green. What are you trying to say? Yeah, that's his color. <laughs> He's that. That's his physical color. The power that, like, you know, the cosmic power? Okay. okay. It's always, like, a certain color. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah. Right? Keep going, keep going. Keep so going. I think it's directly correlated to some stone, uh, something. Maybe the Kree, I don't know. But I do think the villain of Miss Marvel might be closer to the family than we think. Hmm. I think there's going to be some relation uh, and some cosmic reason. They've already said cosmic, honestly. Uh, the mother says, like, oh, so you want to be this or this cosmic girl? The cosmic girl, she says back to her. Like, she says to herself. And it's like, okay, that's setting up the Marvels, right? Because there's a movie coming out with the Mar- called The Marvels, and that's Captain Marvel, Ms. Marvel, and uh, Photon from Wand- WandaVision. Oh, okay. So um, that's going to be dope, too. Hopefully, hopefully. But what did you think of the show? What'd you give it? Uh, I'll give it like a seven point five eight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie so far, especially because like I tell you, these little like little trippy cutscene animations. Yeah, I'm they're fun. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's it's a. Vibe. They're really fun to watch. They're, they're hella fun. It's like a, a very engaging show. Mm-hmm. Did you notice that? Most it's definitely. very engaging. Uh, episode new episodes come out every. Wednesday? Every Wednesday, I think, Wednesday? on Disney Plus. Uh, I will double check that though, because they've been doing Wednesday a lot, but they also did I know Friday. Wednesday is Obi Wan. I know that for a fact. No, Friday is Obi Wan, right? No, Wednesday is Obi Wan. I don't know. Well, I'll look it up in a minute. But speaking of Obi Wan, mm-hmm. into our next little subject. Uh, so far, so good. Yes. I'm digging it. Again, I'm not a huge. I'm not like a diehard Star Wars fan. Yep. I don't know the lore. Like I don't know like the who people are before they show up. So um, I'm still happy, but the diehard fans are still unhappy with Disney Star Wars. Yeah, They're like, they don't know the writing. They don't know the characters. They, they're they just, they're, they're ruining Star Wars. Ugh. I'm like, dude, we're getting new Star Wars content like on a every three, four month basis now. Basis Literally. now, like it's a good time to be a, a geek. Literally, remember like, what I told you? It's just like it's, we're tre- we're treading in uncharted waters right now in terms of like what Disney is doing mm-hmm. with Star Wars and both Marvel. I said that with just now with uh, Miss Marvel. But, what do you uh, mean? How they're treading in different waters? Going oh yeah, ahead. they're able to tell these stories because they're these are stories we wouldn't get in movies at all because of the fact they're just not big enough characters. Ms. Marvel's not a big enough character to have a solo film. So they did a cool little, this long-form storytelling. And I, I'm, I'm really, 
I, I'm liking the concept where they're, what they're doing. So the smaller characters, the more street level characters, would be the Disney Plus characters. I agree, but, but Obi Wan is a is a major character. Let's not get it twisted. Obi Wan is a definitely a big character, uh, but okay. this series would not have worked in film. Yeah, I agree. It I would agree. not work. But I like it because it's, like, it's a nice little filler. It's like a nice little in-between. No. It's like a side story, and it's a side mission. And I also love the fact that Leia did not snitch. She, yeah, yo, she's a beast. All the Republicans are like, oh my god, they're just trying to be PC with uh, with Leia. And like, she's got to be this strong, independent woman. It's like, bro, she was a fucking Jedi. Like, yo, she was a commander in the Rebellion. She's always been a strong, independent fucking woman. Ever since Star Wars, the, the first Star Wars, she's been strong, right? Let's not get it twisted. Facts. Like, these people are so bold. that They're so annoying. They don't like anything. They're just miserable fucking people that just want to cry and complain. And it's like, uh, you know when someone just, you just want to fucking wring someone's neck? <laughs> I'm probably, I'm sure I get like that. Right? <laughs> But Obi Wan's been good. Now, hating Christensen as as Darth Vader, he's doing the the motions and like the moving, but they're using a lot of um of the original actor's voice. Good. And they're 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 they like compiled. You know. I know we have the tech for it. I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. They've compiled all these different ways that they can use James Earl Jones's voice in different ways, like cut different things and put it together. And so they're doing that with the show. Good. So put that into your thoughts. Yep. That's we'll not even someone thing. speaking. That's them pulling record audio from takes, takes upon takes of the original Star Wars. So Hayden Christensen's doing a good job of being Darth Vader. I agree. But with the, 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 the kiss on it is that voice. Yep. That, that's the kiss. But it people just takes are, you back. You're like, oh. Yeah, it gives you that nostalgia vibe. And it's like young Darth Vader, too. That's what you got to keep in mind. It's brand new Darth Vader. Yeah, he like, had just been created like six years. He's he's within six years of being becoming the the Sith Lord, mm-hmm. right? Like he's... Be, yeah, so... so Empire, Empire was really running some shit. The Empire always has the best stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever notice the Empire always has the cool shit, but the Jedi is always win yeah, somehow? They always have like the fucking junky ass fucking. Like the the, the Empire's tech is on point. Yeah, always, but they always. always get finessed. They always get the little hole. The little. It's just like a, like I said, the little uh, Death Star like loophole, right? You just go into that little port and blow it up. It's a it's an easy cop out. But it's always someone that like betrays and like. Yeah, there's it's a because Star Wars. That's shit. why I was never really a fan of Star Wars until a couple years ago, mm. because I always thought it was just like super super basic, yep. and everyone loved it. But I, I mean, as I did watch a little bit of the animated stuff, and the animated stuff gets pretty deep. I agree. And like the animated stuff, that's what a lot of people want to see uh, be canon. Because of the way, it, but because of the way it worked, right? Mm-hmm. So canon being like history, yeah. you know, timeline history. Okay. You know what? To be honest with you, I didn't start taking Star Wars serious. To be, I'm, I swear, right now, I didn't start taking it serious until I started watching the Family Guy Star Wars. Are you serious? Yeah, that's so funny. I'd watch it because like my parents loved it. And I'm like, okay, Star Wars, cool. But I never understood it, but it wasn't until I like, watched all the Family Guy Star Wars where I was like, okay, I need to go back, hop on Disney+, Plus, take a day, and just watch all these Johns and like really understand what's been going on this whole time. Yeah, Star- the, the, the Family Guy Star Wars is actually pretty good. It was hilarious. And it, I love how they literally copy takes Literally, it's frame for frame. Literally, like it's it's it. But that's the th- that's the funny part of of Family Guy is they went shot for shot at some points, right? They just and and they and it's fun. It was fun. I can see why that. That's a good thing. That actually lets me know that people. It, it, the, the uh, not the imposter, but um, the spoof. The spoof can sometimes lead people to the original. Yeah. Right, and it can make people interested. It's like, oh, cool! I liked this story that Family Guy told, but I know that Star Wars just their take on it. And then you go watch Star Wars, and you start, and you see the things that you saw there. And you're like, oh, dude, that's so cool! So it Literally. it makes you kind of, it, it makes you smile. So I can agree with that. One thing I didn't talk about, I forgot, was Stranger Things. <sighs> Stranger Things is so all good. Right, all right, how about we talk about Stranger Things and save the boys? Yeah, okay, I'll save the boys. So the boys, I will tell you this. This is the best season of the boys so far. 
Okay, I look forward Hands to it. Hands down, the best season of the boys so far. Uh, Homelander just doesn't give a fuck anymore. He is absolutely fed up with everything, and he's taking it out on everybody. Everybody. Sheesh. So hold your asses, because this is going to be a ride. <laughs> why, why hold your ass? Because Homelander don't give a fuck. He'll rape you. He'll straight up rape you. He does men, women, he does not care. He does not care. Um, but, yeah, Stranger Things. So far, this ep- I love that they took Stranger Things. Because what was the number one complaint uh, that we had about the first three seasons? Repetitive. Repetitive, and, like, the kids are just, like, kids. But I like the fact that they're growing up now. Yes. And you can see it. Tonally, it's changing with their age. Yep. This, was the, this has been the darkest season so far. This this season's pretty dark, and like, there's really fun moments. Uh, I was telling you that the last episode is like, going to be like two hours and fourteen minutes, and has more VFX shots than season three as a whole. Like that's amazing. When you told me that, that was crazy. That's amazing. But what do you think of the villain Vecna? Um, I think it's the best villain we've had. I do agree because there's I, there's human ties. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I love how like slowly but surely they started to. We started to understand who he was, and I was like, Loki was a little sketchy at first. Even when Eleven popped up back into those trials, I still really don't understand. She was just so. Was she back in the f- like? So no, no, no. Her mind was. She was not. She her mind was sent back in time. But she was with still with her like Papa, whatever that dude was, because she's in that tank. Remember? Yeah, right. he's there. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a, he's at both scenes. Trials. But he's not. That's all. That's all memory. Yeah, when she was younger. Yeah, when she was younger. That's why she's young. In some of the yeah, shots, yeah, 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 yeah. they did that like terrible face swap thing. Yeah, because like, you can tell it's. Mirror. Yeah, you can tell that they that they deep faked a young girl mm-hmm. that had similar frame to Eleven when she first started Stranger Things. Um, you could tell. So um, yeah, it's all she's. They're sending her back in a memory. Okay. Like they're unlocking. Just to understand who, what's his name? That uh, number one. Yeah, he is number one. No, he's number one, yeah. baby. He's yeah. he's one. He's he doesn't one. have a name. But well, he does have a name, but it's fake, right? Because she calls him something. Isn't it Vector Real? No, no, no. Not that. How come I, this won't let me touch it? Trippy. So I can't remember. I can't remember what he was called. But he was, yeah, you're right, though. He, he did have a name in the thing. I was thinking about what the kids would call him, not what Eleven called him. I can't remember what he said his name was to her. See, you can tell she's... It's like a skinny girl that they deep faked onto it. I don't remember that. I do. That was not in the shots. Yeah, not here. This is... I don't know what this is. This is like a teaser. So this is all a memory. I like this show. I like that. Like this, this just feels deep. How are you today? Good. I'm glad to hear it because today I have something very special planned for you. It's a creepy cut. You're listening. That was a really creepy cut. That's a, that was the teaser, bro. I know. I, I didn't. I'm not playing like clips. I just wanted to get a little vibe going because okay. the Stranger Things is Stranger. Oh God. I mean that opening episode, wild. What? The opening. The opening episode was wild. Yes, it was. It, so, I mean, the, the what I don't like is that the Hopper story is going on st- so long. But it makes sense. I'm glad he's alive, and I'm glad. I'm glad he's alive. It wasn't like he went inside the like portal or wherever the f- like. I thought he was gonna go through the portal. Yeah, me you're too. right. Me I, too. You're right. I did think he was gonna get like the fact zapped. that he was just laying down there. I was like, damn. That was kind of weak. Hand. No, it makes sense though. No, like, everybody else exploded yeah, when they were near it. It's like a, it's like a cavern. Ugh, you got mad space down there, man. 
it would just explode up top, and you'd be covered in concrete. I, I could see it. Okay. So you it. under you you say it's a it was a good thing. Yeah, when I saw him alive, I was like, ah, okay, that's a, okay. Okay, right, cool. but do you think that his storyline running concurrent to the the kids storyline is taking away from the overall? Um, like we could have more time exploring the actual what's going on. No, because I'm ex- I'm ex- I enjoy the Demogorgon in the fucking jail that they like them having to, because because the stakes are so high this season. Yep. And ho- the for the best characters that we have, the strongest characters that we have are in Russia, like trapped. True. Right. They're all they're, they're trapped. So the kids don't have their backup. That that and that's what's throwing me off. Is like, damn. Vecna's gonna kill somebody this season. Besides I think the point, I think though, someone's gonna die next. Can episode. we just be honest? Like Vecna's kills, are, yeah, they're intense. But that Demogorgon, when he like got Hopper and uh, what's his name, Enzo? Yeah, Enzo. Enzo, like, yeah, Enzo's really, really fucking that awesome. Demogorgon was just dis- just destroy like, people. Just was like. When he was running on the walls, running on the walls, like running on the walls, eating back, their face, eating like, the, like literally chopping them in half, bro. I was like, no. Oh! When when he came out and it was jumping around, I was like, fuck, no, no, no. I was like screaming at the TV, like, yo, get the fuck out of there, like. And it, it was that that you're right that that the the prison that it was just boring me up until now, yeah, like up until, until that point. up until them getting into like them once Hopper was like at the dinner and he like changed everyone's tone. I was like, here we go. Yeah. This this is what I'm waiting for. Like Hopper to take to be Hopper again because yep. he'd been beating beaten down this entire season. And like him breaking his ankle, that, sh- that was so that was gross. that was intense. That was so gross. That was intense when he was like, "Hey, I'm gonna give you." What did he give him to do? He gave that? him soup and bread. He gave him one soup and one bread, and the for the guy to bash his ankle in so he could fucking squeeze through the cuffs, and then only to get caught again. Yeah, along <laughs> the guards. That was I kind of like that part aspect of it too though. If you're gonna go for like Hopper in jail, have a couple trials, right? Because he tries to escape, he gets pretty far, but then gets caught and then brought back. Yeah, you, it kind of tugs snitch. at your heart a little bit, right? Yep. You thought he was home free. You're like, where? The you're like, yes, stuff. yes, he's coming he back. Match it. Like he could just chill, wait, like dip out. But, but double, no, then he got cross. caught again. Um, but so they double cross, double cross. Do you think season four? Is the best since season one. Um, yeah, I think season four is the best season since season one. Because season one's like a ninety-eight for me. Uh, season one. Season one as a whole is like ninety-eight percent for me. Uh, it's one of the I'll highest rated like shows I've ever had. Ninety-five. What? Yeah. Dude, the mystery of it all. The, the yeah, it came out of nowhere. It I came out it. of nowhere. Stranger Things came out of nowhere. I get it. And it was just. And it, and, it, and it was one of those shows that people talked about with each other. True. That's, it was like a cultural thing. That, and it reminded me of Game of Thrones. That's why I really liked it. Game of Thrones, Supernatural. And actually, speaking of that, I have not watched the trailer for the Winchesters, which is a prequel to Supernatural. You have to watch it if you want to. So I want to react to it for the first time on camera um, today because I was going to do it as like a solo vid. But, yep. but um, I, then I forgot. Like I, I, I think the uh, another trailer came out like right after it, and it was a movie one, so that tr- that superseded Black Adam? it. No, Black Adam. Did you watch it yet? Yeah, I did, but that, that's what you're talking no. about. Um, that could have been a good guess though. So, what did you think of Black Adam? That shit's gonna be fire. You think so? Yeah, I do too. And if it is fire, um, Marvel fans, we gotta watch out because you know they they get a lot. But why of- do you have to be one or the other? Because you don't. You have to. You no, know, you don't. Unless you you do not. There has to be. Do a not clash. listen to Return of the Mac. Listen to me when I say this. Listen to Mac. You do not have to like one or the other. Uh, trust me, I'm a fan of both. I am a fan. I'm a diehard but fan of both. Movie wise, I say this all the time, bro. I told you, I like it. I'm not saying one's worse than the other. I'm saying one's movies seem more low budget compared to Marvel. That's what I'm getting at when it comes to DC versus Marvel. I love DC animation. Love Yo, DC it. animation is on lock. Way better than Marvel animation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I love it. Like way better than Marvel animation. But DC's film game, I get it, is a little bit weaker that's than Marvel's. What I'm saying. Marvel's been able to build this concurrent beast. But Marvel's getting a little weird now. Like I said, my take about Stanley dying. So this could be the time for DC to take over. And it's looking like with Black Adam. 
it might be on the verge or something. I'm over here looking at this trailer, though, and I'm like, all right, probably going to drop maybe, like, July, October? Yeah, October. I was kind of pissed off. October. I've I've known that I've but the the release date's been out for a while. We all knew it was in October, but yes, it does suck that we have to wait till October uh, for Black Adam. I thought it like I thought they dropped the trailer way too early. It's way too early for this to, to start promo. Like, nice. but the Rock, but the so WB did something smart. The Rock for people who don't know, the Rock has been attached to the character of Black Adam for over a decade. Over a decade. He's been he got originally cast as Black Adam before Henry Cavill was cast as Man of the the Superman. Hmm. By the way, Happy National Superman Day. Yep, Happy National Superman Day. Love happy that. National Superman Day. Um, but um, so Black Adam kind of had like a Ryan Reynolds Deadpool thing, where he was attached to the character but couldn't get anything done for years and years and years. Um, and then the DCU came about. And they did Shazam before they did Black Adam. Everyone wanted them to start with Black Adam because you can introduce the prequel. Because Black Adam's basically it's set in the past. Mm-hmm. It's not the it's not the 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 twenty twenty whatever. It's not when the Justice League's. What year is it? It's the JSA. We don't know yet. Okay. It's the, the Rock's like parts. Like when he, I mean, um, the parts at the beginning when he's getting killed. That's like eighteen hundred. That's like back, way back. Well, yeah, in the day. I know that because he's like a slave. Yep, yeah, and his son brought about to let him remember. remember. But when he meets the JSA, it's I think it's like 1940s, maybe. I don't know. Remember those guns that they had that they were shooting at him with? Are you yeah, sure that was in like. Maybe we could take a look at the trailer after. Okay. But here's the Winchesters. Um, so this is a supernatural prequel. Um, it looks pretty CWE. I think, like from the little promos I've seen, like the three second clips. But we'll see about the the full length trailer starting now. Winchester story. It's always been a mystery. I need to uncover the truth about my parents. Was it the hunt for evil that drew them together? Or was it something more? To get to the truth, the real story means going way back to 1972. The day Dad came home from the war. Love what you've done with the place. Let's tie him up. So what are you going to do next? Corny. No and the night he met Mom. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Stop helping. What was that? That was a demon. Oh, they're What's going right name? into demons. You don't want any part of this life. You were raised to be... A hunter. You've been chasing your dad since he walked out our door. Hey, was my dad a hunter? Did you ever hear of Henry Winchester? I'm Mary. It's nice to officially meet you, Mary. You're looking for your dad too, right? Dad was hunting demons, and now he's missing. Sounds like there's answers in there for the both of us. I am kind of nervous. Who's your friend? John Lathika, Lathika John. It's okay to be nervous. This is your first hunt. No! Please reach out to another You don't bring fucking you. civilians on hunts. Our buddy from the alley found a fresh house. Come on, rookie. Learn something. Did he just fucking squirt gun a demon? Something more hydrating than holy water. You want some? I, I'm good, actually. Thank you. Jimmy, Janice, Jim Morrison. Amen. Do all hunters have such tough beginnings? The only thing worse than how it starts for hunters is how it ends. How it ends. Oh, what the fuck was that? I am. When I was a kid, I thought there was a monster under my bed. And my dad always said, Don't worry, son. I know how to trap it. Don't Don't go down this road, John. Maybe one day when you have kids, you will understand. My whole life, I've been searching for something. This is good versus evil. Is someone one night for you? Since yesterday? Yeah. You know, you really are a lot of fun, Mary. She's really a lot meaner when you get That's to That's a legitimate her. monster. There's a whole other world out there. A dangerous world. I was born and raised a hunter. You aren't. You can walk away. We're saving people. Hunting things, Mom. The this family business. Our parents' past has always been a mystery. And there are questions left unanswered. But I'm on a new mission. 
And this story is just beginning. As long as there's a Winchester alive, there's hope. Okay. That shit looks kind of corny. Not of lie. course it looks kind of corny. But there's something about it that is different. It's way different than Supernatural. Supernatural is way more serious. Um, but that that's something I've never seen before. In the in the the supernatural lore is a legitimate like looking monster thing like that. There's it's usually like a possessed person, right? Like yeah. a demon is possessing a person, or a, it's like a smoke monster kind of deal. But that was a legitimate like practical effect monster. Um, so that looked kind of interesting. But let's just do Black Adam real quick okay. uh, and get it over with. Because I want to show you like the set, the scenery. It looks. I'd appreciate this Tyler breakdown of the trailer. I'll I'll break it down. Now, of course. <laughs> Black Adam. No, it does. What see the tech though. Are... It looks kind of Nazi-ish. Nazi-ish. Get the hell out of here. We're giving to you. That shit's floating. You're telling me it takes place in 1940s. Nothing but hearty. I was a slave until I... Okay, clearly like 1800s. Yes, right there. Right? Yep, I remember this part. And then his son sacrificed him. Why would he be reborn? Then I was reborn. 2,000 years later. Into... Uh, so he's been alive. I think he's been alive. Yeah, he's been alive. Man. Right? And he's been... Because there's a city that he... There's a there, I, there's a whole backstory on it. I'll tell you about God. My son sacrificed his life to save me. Over fire! Now, I kneel before no one. In this world. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay, let's or look at the scenery here. Could be like a, it could be its own universe type shit. No, no, no. Let's look at the universe here. Randomized. Look at the bike and look at the handles. It doesn't look like. I I just don't know. I maybe we can look into it a little bit, but I don't. I don't think this is taking place in present day. Where's the JSA been this whole time? Where the Justice Society didn't just. I, I they didn't pop out of nowhere. And Doctor Fate. I I don't know. This team is. Okay. Maybe you're right. Heroes. Right, my boy. Come on, now stop playing with me. Cars usually give it away, right? True. Who's that? Who's he supposed to be? Which one? That old guy. That's Doctor Fate. Okay. Yeah, he's like Doctor Strange, but on a different level. Interesting. Right? He's like, yeah, he's kind of like Doctor Strange, but he is different in a way. It's not like Mystic. It's more like Mysterio vibes. Yeah, but actual powers, not okay. fucking Jake Dylan all smoking here. Don't act. kill people. Okay, maybe this does take place in well, present day, or at least maybe in the eighties or nineties. Maybe. My vision has shown me the future. You have two choices. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. Put the tech. The jets give it away right there. That's up to you. It's hard to still play. Damn. Volkswagen fan. 80s, 90s. He just a rocket? He got the rocket. Definitely takes place in the Middle East.
definitely seeing that in a Dolby theater. Oh, look at their advertising comics and and fucking graphic novels See, after it. That's that, awesome. That's what broke boys do. See, Marvel don't gotta do that shit. Shut up. You know they got the bag already. Ah, shut up. All right, Black Adam though. Uh, I, I think I'm wrong. I think it. Do, I think you're right. I think it does take place um, closer to the future or closer to the present day than we think. Uh, you're right. But th- but that leads begs the question: Where's the JSA been when Doomsday was was around? Where's Doctor Fate been when when um, Superman? You know, was was taking a, a seat and dead. Right? Like where? Where are these people been Isn't in the larger universe this whole time? What if... There's been multiple moments where they could pop out. What if that's when Snyder cuts post, you know, apocalyptic scene, you know, that's when they're going to pop out? No. <laughs> I, I, trust me, I wish. I wish, but no, it's not going to no. happen. Um, <laughs> Black Adam, though, coming October. I guess we'll talk more about it as we get to know it. Yeah, I don't But wanna, nothing, I nothing... I don't even want to rewatch the trailers here, bro. Ma- I don't want to keep spoiling it and yeah. seeing more and more pe- bits Most and Most of, of it, Black yeah. Adam trailer takes place, you can tell, in like a little early, a little bit of time, right? So they're not giving too much of the plot away. I they like didn't the give, mystery of We it. don't even know who the villain is. If it's Black Adam himself or if it's another, you know, if there's Black Adam, there's the JSA. The JSA are clearly the good guys. Black Adam's like, eh, not so good, but he's not so bad either. Uh, and then there's going to be a really, a real villain. Yep. Right? You know that. Um, listen, let me know in the comments what you think of Black Adam. Let me know what you're excited about most or the character you're excited about most in that. Um, and could we see, speaking of National Superman Day, could we see Superman? Superman and Black Adam are, are really tied together in the, in the universe, in the comics. Because the, in the, Superman is weak to magic. Really? Yes. One of one of the only things super na- uh, Superman is is weak to is magic, like Shazam and Black Adam. Interesting. Yeah. So it's a it's a it's been a thing in the comics. It's been a thing in the animated universe. Um, Shazam, Black Adam, and Superman. I think that'd be a really cool matchup with um, the Rock. Um, uh, what's his name? Zach. Uh, Zachary Levy as Shazam, and then uh, um, uh, Henry Cavill as Superman. Who's I'm your like favorite that. Superman? Uh, Man of Steel. Yeah? Okay, so Cavill is your favorite? Yeah. There's been Brandon Routh, who has been... Uh, and then there's Smallville, right? The guy in, from Smallville, who played Superman in the, the WB show. Um, Tyler Hodgland is actually a pretty good Superman from Superman and Lois. He's probably one of my favorite live-action Supermans. I like... Um, you know, can I say... Um, what's, the, what's the kid Superman one? What? Kid Brightburn? No. Did you say Brightburn? That's Bright- actually a superhero thing? That was basically a Superman story. Really? It was what if Superman See, was evil. Now I need to watch that. Um, besides the point, though, I was talking about, so in Titans, what's the clone? Oh, Superboy. Superboy. Can Superboy. Does that count, does that count as a no, Superman? You couldn't ca- you, no, you couldn't count him as Superman. All right, fine. But you can. But I like the actor-wise. Like he's, he was a he's good, good, yeah. He was a good like little, I could see him being like a Superman, like Superboy. No, he was a he good. Fit um, he fit the role. Here's, here's a little picture I have. Where is it? Of, of our Superman, right? All right, middle. Not middle, middle, top, middle. So we have. Um, nope. Christopher Reeve Superman. We have the Justice League Unlimited uh, Superman. That. That, that's the one right there. We have Injustice Superman here. Do you, you remember the Injustice games? Yeah, the game was lit. Um, Cavill Superman. Superman. Kingdom Come Superman. Um, there's a lot of animated ones. I forget this guy's name. Oh, that's um Dean uh, Kane. That's um, what's his name? Dean Kane is it? Oh, I have no idea, bro. Uh, and then, but Ka- yeah, Cavill's probably my favorite Superman out of all of them. But Tyler Hodgson was good. I love the Justice League one. This one? Yep, that's that's like that's an iconic Superman. Into, like, yeah, that's an iconic Superman for so kid. many people. But Superman's people say that it's really hard to make a Superman movie, like a live action movie, because he's so op. Can I be honest with you? You know, what no, pisses me lie off? to me. Oh, well, I do often, but <laughs> you know what pisses me off when I watch. Superman animated movies, he always gets his ass beat. By everybody. I'm like, 
What? By, by everybody too. Everybody can take on Superman for a couple of minutes, but then he just you know then he he'll adapt to you like and then yeah, like so he'll end up winning. But it's a lot of him getting his ass beat. And you're so like, what the hell? I mean, Superman's a cool character. He's never he's never been my favorite. Uh, character by by far. Yeah, uh, Batman is my favorite. I agree. Ba- Batman is my favorite superhero in general, but Captain America is my second. And then I'm everyone, Batman and Green Hulk. Lantern is up there. Why the Hulk? Because I always, it was just always the cool story, and I loved the original like series like, back in like the seventies. Yeah, with Lou Ferrigno. Yep, yep. Lou Ferrigno. When, when it, well, he would. Lou Ferrigno was the Hulk. But he was someone else, and then it would change to Lou well, Ferrigno. Yeah, whoever, yeah. I love the case. Whatever I think case everybody, I, I mean, that's an iconic role. Lou Ferrigno will never not be known as the Hulk. Yep. Right? By so many people. And I love his little cameo. Yes. Yeah. He uh, he also voiced the Hulk in Avengers. Really? Yeah, like the Hulk Hulk. Like, he would do the... Yeah. Yeah, they, they took lines from it, and, and they had him do it. And then it was... So anytime the Hulk was like... <laughs> it was Lou Ferrigno doing it. So that was that was a pretty cool thing of them to do. So I, but I, the, the all the Hulk movies have been boring as shit. Um, post, you know what? I I already talked about this. I lost respect to the Hulk after you guys asked me by Thanos. Oh God, grow up! Thanos uh, is the intergalactic beast. We already had this conversation. I'm not even gonna get into it with this guy again. But what I was gonna say is my favorite film was the one with Abomination. So yeah, the incredible because that was the only one that actually had like a story to it yeah, that was actually was worth watching. And, and I liked him in Ragnarok. Liked him in yeah, Ragnarok. Ragnarok the Hulk was fun. But That's when he changed by though. Thanos, it was done. Would you have rather it stayed the Ragnarok Hulk instead of Professor Hulk? Yes, I, I don't like Professor Hulk. Yeah, Professor Hulk's hella it's kind of whack. To me. He's way too smart for himself. It's, it's not like, the Hulk anymore. It it's isn't. like it's mo- mostly Bruce Banner just in a green. Big suit, yeah. you know what I mean? It's it's. But, but he, that's the only way they can really roll out She Hulk. It's like, huh? You guys gotta adapt to something new. Like, right, new right, new. yeah. She when She Hulk. By the way, She Hulk can't transform back. Really? Yeah. Well, in the comics, she is stuck as She Hulk for most of the time. She does learn a little bit how to change back, but for the most part, she's She Hulk, bro. But that's why she's fucking dudes as She Hulk. She would True. be. She would be having sex as Jennifer Walters. If she was if she could. able to transform. Yeah. But no, she's having sex as a green monster because she has to, because she can't change. That's wh- I think that's why but, she's in that tank. Yeah. And Bruce is studying her. Like, you have to change. I'm, I'm going to hit you with the, I'm going to hit you with these grinders, basically. So do you think he was expecting a, making her stay A rage attack. Like, I think he's trying to temp- test her limits. I think he botched it. He's like, okay, well, I, I have to figure out how to. Well, the way that it happens in the books is she's dying. Oh, yeah, yeah, and he yes. gives her a blood transfusion and then saves her, but she is the Hulk. Yep. She be- she has the Hulk in her now because it's in his blood. Yep. Um, that's why he'll never give anyone his blood. But he did it for her, and he turns her into a monster. He feels guilty about it. But hmm. it's also an internal struggle, right? It's not just like a – you either save her and make her a monster. Or let her die. Or let her die. What's worse? Yeah. Some people would say letting her die is the better option, but she also becomes a good hero. So I don't know. She Hulk's gonna be She Hulk's gonna be a really boring show. I can already. I, I don't can, know. Yeah, I mean, if I I'm gonna go into She Hulk with the same expectations that I Miss Marvel, into, yeah, Miss Marvel, yep. Same expectation. T- temper them a little bit. Yeah, you know. Not so, like. Don't expect Chris Nolan yeah, or the Avengers. Anything expect, crazy? Yeah, expect She Hulk. It's something different. Celtics are in the playoffs. Still, and they're in the finals. Uh, What's been going on with the Celtics, man? Let's get into a little bit of sports. By the way, I saw Dave Portnoy the other day. Yeah. I was walking down Newbury Street where we work, and uh, you know Dave Portnoy from Bar- Barstool? The Barstool guy, yeah. Yeah. So I'm walking down Newbury Street towards our work, coming back from 7-Eleven. Yep. And I, t- I turned the corner at Stephanie's, right? Yep. That, where the outdoor seating is? Yep. I turn the corner. I walk like three feet. I look up. Dave Portnoy and a, and a model girlfriend because he's got these smoke show girlfriends. Um, w man's. He's a W. He used to be a chunky guy. He got really in shape though. Um, so he, yeah, he was walking by and I, I looked up and I was just like, everybody knows the rules. And then I walked by. And I don't think he heard. <laughs> I don't think he heard me Tyler though. Tyler definitely whispered that. No. <laughs> I know. I talk to actors all the time. I or famous people, I should say. 
I, I didn't want to make a scene, but I looked up and I was like, everybody knows the rules. And I just kind of walked by, left them alone. I didn't want to. I'm not gonna is stop. That, is that a saying he says? Yeah, from the pizza reviews. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Wait, from he does the pizza reviews, and he goes one bite. Everybody knows the rules. Okay. It's like because t- even though he eats the whole pizza, piece of pizza, uh-huh. he's only supposed to take one bite. That's how it started. Oh, okay. It was one bite in review, uh-huh. right? But now he eats the whole fucking slice. But he still says it, and it's kind of like funny now because uh-huh. he's eating the whole pizza. Yeah. When he keeps saying everybody knows the rules, one bite. Everybody knows the rules. As he's eating the whole thing, so it's funny. So I, when I saw him <laughs> passing me, I said, "Everybody knows the rules," and I just kept walking. He, I don't know if he heard me. I hope he did. Dave, if you're listening, I, I, I would love to one day talk, bring him on the show. That'd be awesome. That'd be lit. Um, but the Celtics are in the finals. Yes, let's talk about them. So, so someone got so mad that the Celtics are down in the series. No, they're not. Well, tied in the series. Yep. And jumped off the Tobin Bridge. Oh, he jumped up. That's really why he jumped off? No, I don't know. Oh. But that's my theory. I can see it, though. That's that my is, hypothesis. Hey, I'm not even going to make So there's a bridge right by the mean? garden. It's Anytime you see a picture of Boston and the TD Garden, there's always this bridge with lights. Lights going up uh, fucking poles and shit. Yep. That's the Tobin Bridge. Someone jumped off of it last night. Uh, and, you know, we don't... It was terrible. It was terrible. But I opened my phone... And Apple, Apple's like, your highlights, man jumped off the Tobin Bridge. I was like, that's not, I don't want to read that when I wake up. Literally. Like, just your day on the right foot. It, it, Apple does it all the time. But t- talk to me about the Celtics playoffs run. Uh, are they going to be able to win this series? Yes. Yes, we are. You know what? I saw that a um, couple of the, what's the other team that they're playing? They're playing the Golden State Warriors. Steph Curry, the, Steph Curry had 40 points. Yeah, he was talking, him and one other person. Was talking crap about the Boston fans being yeah, very that vulgar. Cool. That Clay Thompson was being hella soft. It was like very classy Boston. Yeah. And like being but you know the kids man. and stuff were saying it too. Yeah, I know. He hilarious. was like, "There's, there's kids here." It's like, bro, you don't know Boston. Then those kids were yelling it too. I wish I had a fucking uh, my phone, my Snapchat. My boy was sitting next to Draymond's kid. No way. It took us <laughs> Snapchat and posted on his story and said. Fuck you, Draymond. <laughs> that's so I bad. Was like, I had a I was like, that's the most. That's so world. bad. Oh my god. So like, okay, like talk to me. Shit. So what's the score of the series? It's two two. We're going back to Golden State right now for Game Five. We gotta steal this one. We're coming back for Game Six. It's okay, but let's talk. They about They could potentially win the final. They could potentially win the championship at home if they win the next two games in a yes, row. Yes, correct. Right. Correct. Okay. So, uh, but. Respectfully, fuck all When's that shit. When's game six? Fuck all that shit. Fuck all that shit. Wait, wait, wait. Game Let's five. Continue. Game five is Monday. I think. Okay. So game six would probably be Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, probably like... If uh, it's Wednesday, I'll, I'll go hang out in the city with the camera. No. This is what I was about to say to you, bro. Because I went to the city. Because I was like, you know what? Yeah, if but I if it's the actual the game, last game... Trust me, bro. Listen. I went to the game. Game four, Friday night. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go. You went to the city. Yeah, and I'm going to get loaded, go to the harp, and just chill. Right, right, And then right, we're right. going to win, and I'm just going to go crazy in the streets. You know what happened? Nothing. Quite the opposite. I you ended up in, in a house. <laughs> no, I was stuck in line, and I ended up in a nice-ass house. Let's get it right. It was a nice-ass house. But a very fine establishment. Let me just say so myself. But besides the point, I was expected to get lit, ended up we losing, and me just, just slow night. wasting my time. And uh, Keep in mind, I was phoneless for the past week. Yes, he was. I can concur that. He was at without... So that's why he wasn't on the show last weekend, was because he lost his cell phone the night... What were you doing? You actually got loaded the night before that. Yeah, I had a great night. Yeah, that was a good night, right? My boy Nigel came up from New York, uh, and I just ended up just losing my phone. And yeah, we've all been there. Had to drive to Vermont with no navigation and had oh. to like stop. You had to do it old school style. Yeah, I literally stopped at my grandmother's house, used her phone, wrote down directions, and drove my ass to Vermont. That's how we used to do everything. Yeah. Like I used to, because my dad owned a moving company for a long time. So I used to go on little trips with him to like New York and stuff, and it was maps. Yep. He like would chart a map. It was like, and like you had to, he always told me, that you, we made fun of him at home for saying this one thing. Can you hand me the map? And then he pushes. Can you hand me the map? And he pushes glasses in. Can you hand me the map? Pushes glasses in. It was so funny. But uh, and he is an idiot. He is an idiot. But 
Anyway, so you think the Celtics can win yeah, this Yeah, Celtics are going to take it, bro. Come on now. They're, you We're think the fundamentally they're a better team than Golden yeah, State? Yeah, like we always beat ourselves. Granted, I wasn't able to really watch the game because I was still so tight. The fact that I wasn't able to get into a bar and watch it. And I was like, you know what? We, Don't they put it on a big screen next to our work in Copley? Bro, I already told you this. Yes, they do. But I'm not going to where I work to go celebrate the Celtics. I'd rather be here next to the garden. I want to be in the heat of the moment with all the people, not just a weird ass little But you could get there really quick. Yeah. No, but we lost. Keep that in mind. We yeah, lost. yeah, yeah. That's true. There's no reason to celebrate. I took my ass Everybody home. Everybody goes home with a sm- uh, frown. Yeah, I know. Took my ass home, went to McDonald's, called it a night, went to work the next day. So, That's... game five, Monday. So, game five Monday, probably game, game six. six. Either Wednesday or Thursday. I hope it's Wednesday. I do. It's probably Wednesday. And if they win Friday. tomorrow, I'll game go out. Will be Friday. That's the only time I go out. Is like If it's like the championship part of it. I'll go out and I'll, I'll watch it at Copley. I don't give That's a shit. That's the thing. Like At work, bro, I'm like watching ESPN to start the day and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? This yeah, is like it's so a, loud too it's and so annoying. Loud. It, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> it's like sitting next to you. But that's besides the point. When I'm watching it, I'm like, bro, this is like the last week of it. I'm milking this. Like, I don't care. I'm not going to be able to watch ESPN. There's nothing to watch. All the sports are done. Like, I don't care about NFL preseason. Like, yeah, no one does. I don't care does. about any of that. No one does. Um, I don't care about the Red Sox till they play the Yankees. That's when I sign games because I'm like, I was going to say, there's, the, there's baseball. I like baseball. But baseball is so rigorous. It's like every day, right? For like three 3,000 games, it feels like. And then. <laughs> And then it gets good when it's the playoffs. Literally. Right? So it's Literally. like, it's like you fi- dude, any- one time I got roped into playing fantasy baseball, and it was the worst thing I've ever done. Because it's daily. It's You have to change your pitchers, uh, change every. It's so set your lineup every day differently because some players don't play. It was the worst experience ever. Like, football is good because it's once a week. Yep. Bah, bah, bah. Yep. See you later. Yep. Maybe twice a week. B- one time a week, it's twice a week. Uh, but... Or no, because you know sometimes there's Monday night games yeah, that you get. You yeah, that. so that that kind of stuff. Football's fun. I, I like fantasy. We should start a sot for fantasy football. You know what? That'd be a great idea. Yeah, have a little tournament. But um, last but not least, this is gonna take up a little bit of time because it's kind of a. This is this isn't just a pop culture story. This is a political story. This is. Uh, everything. Ezra Miller, who stars in and as The Flash, has now been accused of grooming someone under the age of... Tw- so she's 18 right now. He, it's apparently started when the girl was 12. So the, Ezra Miller is a friend of the family, of the tribe, and was allowed on the tribe uh, grounds. And he's been there. He was there for the most of the pandemic. Um, and he's been there. He's known that family for years. Um, the, the mother of the girl is now coming out and saying she filed a fucking court order, court ordered uh, restraining order to get Ezra away from the, the daughter at age 18 when the parents can no longer do so. Why would they wait so long? Yeah, that's odd. And the girl made a video saying it, that she was not being groomed by Ezra Miller. And she was like, I'm in control of myself. Maybe it's like the pairs got so, sussed out. I was going to say, Ezra has not had a good run of things. He's gotten ar- uh, they've gotten arrested. They've done really over-the-top bizarre things um, on the internet. Um, they've also you know, broken into someone's house uh, stolen their passport, and then told them that he was going to kill the person. Um, it was, it's all been leading up, and then now this? Yeah, they've been on a binger. I think, is the timing too coincidental? Yeah. I mean, coincidental, you kinda he's like, about to get his ass dropped, or th- their ass dropped. Like, what, what are you getting at? What? Like, coincidental, like how? Is it, what, is it just... Why after so they, the parents said in the court order that obviously you have to you have to explain yourself to the the, the court right yep. to the judge and you, that's how you file you go a, a, in front of the court and you ask for this thing yep. right and a judge says yes or no so they have to present their side of it they said that Ezra has been 
mind controlling this girl for six years since she was 12 years old with drugs, um, uh, delusions of grandeur, um, and like, the you know, those, that, that? that cult leader thing. The fuck is delusions of grandeur? I'm going to make you the next star. Oh, that's just hyping me up. That's gassing her up. Come on but now. that's what the parents are saying. Interesting. The girl is saying that that's not the case. Ezra is not said anything about it, which is a very good thing because he needs to stay away. That dude, that person needs to go away for a while and then come back and try to rebuild his image because it has gone too far. The Flash movie is so fucked right now. They've delayed it till next year, but it's so fucked if this is all true. That, they're going to have to throw that movie in the trash. Yeah, that's not coming out. That's the one Keaton's in. Really? Michael Keaton's Batman's going to be back. Damn. So, uh, losing this movie is a blow to DC. And I don't know what's going to happen anymore. Like, what do you think? So, grooming. So, do you think Do you think this could be true at all? Honestly, I don't know the man's. Here in our court system, you're innocent till proven guilty, but... Um, you know what? He's been on a weird little power, or they've been on a weird little power trip. So I could. Ezra also doesn't mind the pronouns he him. All right, but I'm over here trying to like really. Yeah, but I'm trying to force myself to change it. So hey, I'm trying. trying, Yeah, no, 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 no. We all are trying. Ezra does not mind the the he him pronouns unless he's getting arrested. Right, but also does also I think he favors the they them pronouns. So it it's either way, it's okay. But I'm trying to force myself to, some, to, to, I'm trying. to I'm trying do to it. Adapt. I'm trying yes. to adapt. I'm trying to adapt, and that's all they can ask of us. Because, you know, it's, it's new saying they, them. It's, 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 you got to get used to it. Sometimes you mess it up. Um, and if you want equality, you have to, the struggle comes with it. Uh, there's a little bit of a hump to get to normalcy. But, yeah, the, but DC needs the Flash. Yeah, needs Ezra Miller's Flash. Character. I just watched Fantastic Beasts 3. He's the only good part of it. Really? Yeah, Credence uh, is the only good part of that. That that movie is just... Fantastic Beasts has been the same movie every single time. Even the Dumbledore one? Even the new one, Secrets of Dumbledore. Is just a, it, it's another story that ends without the villain dead and without him captured. And it just leads to a next one again mm. and again and again. Grindelwald just gets away again. And the way he gets away in the last one is so stupid. It's so dumb. It's any of them could have wrapped this dude up in a second and they let him walk to the edge and fucking fall off and disappear because he's a wizard. It's like, come on. Like, someone have the guts to just put him one in his head finally. End it. <laughs> Pussies. Like, he, the dude's been terrorizing everybody and yet you, you won't at least imprison the guy, but you'll but you'll put a politician in a room with a giant snake thing that comes out and eats them. So I don't know. I don't get it. Um, dude. I don't know. We got to end it on that one. That was too great. Yeah, I know. That, that, I, was, I, that was a good ending. That, that was. That was. And we're just at that time. I was just going to say that. Guys! Got some announcements. Real quick. We're going to... So thank you for joining today's show. Thank you for watching today's show. Freddie Mac, Return to the Mac. Love is it. back. Uh, and then, so it's official. Uh, we will be at Springfield Comic Con on. No, well, Freddie won't, but he'll be in there in spirit. Of course. Um, so, and we have a little. We're gonna. He'll have a little segment. Don't worry. Um, but if you are in the Massachusetts area or aren't in the Massachusetts area, want to go to Springfield Comic Con, uh, it is July 23rd uh, on Saturday. We'll have a booth and uh, a panel. Uh, we're gonna be doing talking to a few cool people uh, at the con. And everything's going to be recorded. Uh, it won't be live, but uh, it will come out on July 23rd. We're going to record everything. It'll probably come out by the next week because it's going to be a lot for me to put together. Uh, so I need about a week to do it. Um, so it'll be a really, really fun show. Uh, and we're going to be doing a meetup there and everything. So, um, you know, shout out to Springfield Comic Con, guys. Shout out Wahlburgers. Shout out Wahlburgers. I guess we're going to do it there. I want to do it <laughs> at Cold Stone Creamery, but... Uh, everyone voted Wahlburgers, like trash burger, <laughs> trash burger. We just had All that right. conversation. What's better, Shake Shack or Five Guys? Put it Let in us the know comments. in the below. Five Guys for the win. What are you at? You I said you Shake said Shack. Shake Shack. Shake I said Shack Five Guys. They're nuggets. 
Does it, but that. we're not talking about nuggets, bro. We're talking about the establishment as a whole. Yeah. People were talking about the peanuts going into Five Guys. If you want to bring up peanuts, I can bring up nuggets. Come on now. I didn't say anything about peanuts. I heard someone say that. I never brought, I can't eat peanuts, so I don't eat them anyway. All right, well, I heard that argument before. It's Shake Shack. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Five Guys is definitely better. <clears throat> anyway, guys, make sure to <laughs> like, share, and subscribe if you're on YouTube, and make sure to rate and review the show if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or any of the other podcast platforms. Uh, Freddie Mac and I, thank you. Um, Freddie Mac, something happened to your Instagram, so you're yeah, making, you making a new one? So I got hacked. You got hacked. You got. Don't click links. Don't click links from Freddie Mac right now. Don't click links. Do you think you'll ever recover that account? Or um, you have to make you know, it I'm one? really trying to, but Instagram's really making a nice little hassle for me to like get in contact with somebody. Yeah. Kind of just really like figure it out yourself. And I'm like, cool, but like, I can't, I can't get any access into my account. Like, not my yeah, it's my terrible. Email, it's like linked password. to your phone number and everything. Yeah, he changed it's that. Terrible. Changed it to his phone number. Like, it's terrible. But I have so many of my friends and beloved people around me reaching out to him, sending him their kind Great. regards. Yeah, I, I, I said he was a fucking. Messages. I think I, I said he was a fuck boy. I said, I said something like, uh, stop sending me something. You, you. You cuckold or something. I said something weird. It's bad because it's you saying he's a Bitcoin miner, and I actually trade. Like I trade currencies in my I, spare I, time. I do so it. I, I dabble look. in the stock market as it's well. It's a bad look. I was a be- I was a big part of um, uh, Dogecoin. Well, I was like a big advocate for it. Really? I still am. I still have money in Bitcoin. I'm mean, um, I, I have money in out. all of them, honestly. I took but that shit out of Doge. Doge. Uh, Do- I I made a lot of money off Doge and took some of. Took a lot of it out, but reinvested back into it as well. My dumbass bought Doge on fucking Robinhood, and then that's when they shut down. Yeah, the Robinhood is sucks. Yeah, Robinhood is. By the way, you cannot shut down just because Robinhood. something is happening. Just because you cannot shut down trading like that, it shouldn't work like that. Yeah, but anyway, we won't talk about that yeah, yet. We're, we're sidetracking. So next week, robot chicken. No, death, love, love death and chickens. I, no, love death and robots. But I kind of want to change it to. Have you ever seen the show Maniac? No. It's with Jonah Hill and Emma Stone. It's no, I've a never seen series it. on Netflix. Okay. I'd, I'd rather that. You'd rather that? I'd rather that, yeah. All right. We'll save Love, Death, and Robots for the next one. So, The Witcher. Witcher, episode one. And then Maniac, episode one. I and I love Jonah Hill. My love for Jonah Hill started with uh, Super Bad. I can recite every fucking word Dude, from that. Super Bad is the greatest one liners of all time. Yeah. Like, really we used is. to drink. Like, all my boys, we used to get together and drink, and we'd have Super, super Bad on in the background. And, like, we'd be doing it, you know, the same time as, like, it, like, it was just, a, that was a movie that we always had on. Like, it was so funny. Whenever I go to the liquor store and I get carded, I pull the McLovin, I'm like, ha makes me feel young again. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, guys, thank you for joining. Uh, like I said, uh, if you want to support the channel, even if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, uh, if you want to support the show uh, or the channel, uh, there is a link uh, in the description below where you can pay. Um, and we'll, like last night, the, today I put the Garrett Dillahunt interview out. Yep. Last night I sent the rough cut of it to the members only. Yep. So they got to see the interview last night. They got the exclusive shit. Yeah, they got that exclusive. I'm going to start doing more stuff like that. So um, support the show by sending a super chat and or becoming a member. Either way, um, we thank you. We love you. And we'll see you next time. Peace out.